What are we going to do? Chemistry. That's good. That is not chemistry. Even better. <laughs> so uh, I still need to arrange uh, potentials for you. Okay. Uh, please remind me if you don't hear from me soon. It's okay. uh, important to do it during this weekend because next week you'll be like removed from active learning. <laughs> uh, the for Zane, I have an idea how to make your project even quicker than uh, anyone can can imagine. So just take uh, whatever parameters you have. Whatever what? Whatever par uh, yeah. I'm speaking about projects. Yeah, yeah. So you, you do have a code that I shared with everyone. Yeah. yeah. And your task is uh, Marcus. Yeah. Here. So um, oh, I see you. You you learned something. I did. So. Um, Modif, um, I can offer and adjust some, some little things later, but uh, for you, it will be most interesting not to change the temperature, although you, you, you can do it as well, but primary interest would be to maybe keep even zero temperature, but rerun with different, different delta E, D, E of, uh, in such way that, um, and make it by fine steps, maybe uh, make about 20 runs, starting from um, making the uh, parabolas swapping the order in energy. And then uh, report the, the trends. So, and uh, we'll discuss the details later, but it seems the. And it's this, are these the right equations for the parabolas? Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you are studying Marcus theory, you may learn how to express lambda yeah. out of out of this uh, parameters. Okay, it, it's it's like very quick middle school math square equation. That's what I like to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know Spencer. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll look through a list of projects and make quick comments. And uh, if things go favorably for didactic class, uh, today uh, I hope to say goodbye to Harmonic Oscillator. Ne that. Next week to start uh, more fun uh, because sitting on one subject is, is quite, sometimes can be boring or it's like you, we need to change the plate and then try different tastes. Um, what is the, Expected outcome and what, what I'm going to do in the didactic part. Um, there, now I'm speaking to myself. Or, Dimitri, it is a message for you for next uh, year. Um, at this time, it, it, it's really perfect to offer another homework that I'm not going to do this year. It's for, for next year. And you, uh, sir. <laughs> my pleasure, sir. And duplicate uh, today's class uh, pen and paper assignment with uh, MATLAB exercise. So today's pen and paper exercise would be to predict expectation values of position and momentum for uh, moving Gaussian wave packet for the eigenstate of uh, annihilation period. And it is another big wonder that uh, since it is oscillator, the position will oscillate and momentum is, will oscillate as well. And it will oscillate in the same way as classic for in classical case without any quantum things uh, it, will, uh, it will be demonstrated. But this is not evident and the simple thing needs to be proved. If we would do it in, in the method, you just run the code and find uh, pull out the uh, expectation of position, expectation, momentum, plot, right? Um, for today's, I think you guys are tired and bored of the oscillator and maybe I'm, I'm too, but uh, in some sense, it will summarize all good things that we did in, in the subject. And one of the interesting uh, reminiscence connection to like three weeks back, remember in, uh, I think in the last homework you have completed, there was an assignment to find commutation between an intuition greater and Hamiltonian. Do you remember what was it? Like a comma h equals. No, we're doing it by here. One, one, no, one, no, zero. No. 
it was A itself. Yes. Right? Yes. So uh, by commuting uh, this operator with commutator, you reproduce this operator itself. Yes. Today we will use this property. Okay. And uh, there will be another, um, well, I know that normal people do not get fun of, of differential equations, but if you have to, to solve some differential equations, today will be one of the simple ones. I will submit a petition to the college to rename this course into simple differential equations. <laughs> So um, after we solve, we, we will use this property to find Heisenberg equation of motion and find expectation value of A. And then we will practice definition of position and momentum through A and A dagger and get it back. And the A and A dagger will uh, be a complex uh, phase accumulation in complex plane. And when we add together, it will be sine and cosine. That's it. Perfect. Just, just wasting time on it and doing it uh, carefully but surely. Okay. And uh, I don't know how to organize my time, but it would be really great if uh, I had a personal interview with everyone and, and, and make sure that, every, like we, we did right now about your project, we need to communicate briefly with everyone uh, to make sure things are, are going well. And I know that uh, August uh, sent an email to me that uh, he will do the uh, narratives. So we do not know only about the Kahneman team if they are still in the course and if they want to, and if they want to do project and if they and which project they do. So here is the thing that we did uh, in the in the lab just quickly. So we we agreed how to model. A single uh, atom in one dimension. Then we model how to uh, um, describe sequence of atoms that attract electrons. And then um, I already forgotten who is doing this as a case solar cell, but uh, it, it was a Connor. Hmm? Connor was. Connor. Okay, so it is uh, definitions and, and plan how, how to model it. Then uh, we defined the observables. Of course, one can improve and 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 bells and whistles, but it, it is like a minimal thing. If we uh, describe chemical correction, we need to find yield of the product uh, in either electronic or nuclear space, and we integrate probability in the product side and uh, look how it uh, changes over time. And uh, we reckon the product in some should keep one if it doesn't stick in any intermediate, and then it just grows. And uh, basically, in the project, uh, one in, independent of details, in most of the projects, one, one looks how quickly the transfer is happening. And it, it is quite, quite general. Uh, so here is the stuff that uh, Spencer and Zane are doing. Or there is a big challenge that we, I will, I hope to touch it in the very last or second last lecture in a, in more academic uh, style, but uh, Hamiltonian is twice as bigger, one for ground, another for excited electric state. Uh, there one uh, also may set up the expectation value by integrating everything in ground, everything in excited and uh, describe it in, in terms of Probabilities of uh, and product. So here is the map, and as bigger it becomes, as uh, lazier I become to draw it in a uh, uh, careful, uh, computerized way. But we have so many methods: density, state, weight, weight operator, and the annihilation of um, 
intuition curator for Slater School, uh, I can state of intuition curator is called here in state. And uh, there will be justification for this listening. And we would uh, free space one dimensional box, many dimensional boxes, and harmonic oscillator. In the remaining time, I want to cover rotator and spin, and then making some combinations of those. Uh, what I declared it before, we will not cover the hydrogen atom with whole rigor because it, it eats top of mind. It's doing rigorous and non rigorous, you know, from freshman chemistry, right? SPD organisms. Uh, another thing is perturbation by light, which we do not model explicitly right now, but it is in our mind we are referring to. Right? So if things go favorably, uh, I will stop upon getting to uh, this slide. So it is the time dependence of the expectation value of position and momentum for harmonic oscillator. Under harmonic oscillator, we can understand many things. Primarily, it is interatomic distance or uh, normal mode coordinate, but it could be uh, vibration angle, it could be charge of capacitor in the LC uh, circuit. It can be, as, as some of you mentioned, uh, just pendulum on a spring. But if the uh, rigidity is high and mass is very small, oscillators exhibit quantum properties. Right? And um, um, we are looking for Gaussian weight packet, which is shifted from the equilibrium position. And then we release it and let it go. So on, uh, it is one formulation of the problem. Another formulation of the problem that we take interatomic bond of a polar molecule, irradiated with infrared light, and launch it to a stellate equator. And then starting from some point of time, we stop irradiating and just look how it will move itself. And the third way is to take molecule with uh, several potential energy surfaces, excited by UV, and then uh, promote from ground to inside it, where the potential energy surfaces have different curvature and different equilibrium, and see how it will move there. So it's just comments of what we are modeling. It is expected that expectation value of position is length of the bound, you three. And if you start from the maximum, it will be maximal, then smaller, then again bigger around the curve. If we look uh, on the momentum, then after shifting it forward and releasing, initial momentum is zero, and then it will pick up, becoming negative, right? Because if uh, the one wants to contract, it goes back. And then it uh, picks up more and more momentum. When it passes equilibrium, it has so much uh, momentum that it will go over. And then it decelerates and, and stops at the, at the opposite side. It's like it starts to contract. And then momentum starts to uh, be positive, ramping up, coming through equilibrium and going to far, far from And this um, simultaneous floating of the position of momentum sometimes is called phase diagrams. Uh, I cannot promise that the uh, next teacher in PCAM class will use this language, but there is a chance. So a lot of thermodynamics and statistical uh, statistical thermodynamics textbooks appeal to the um, term phase diagram. And one right now we are living in single ways. We have just one degree of freedom. In uh, complicated Realms when something is very few and something is very large. In, in the middle, it's always complicated. So, uh, complicated cases are, are not considered, but here in this Python 1, we consider very few things. In the Python 2, one will consider infinite number of degrees of freedom. Like if you have an ensemble of many oscillators representing a uh, collection of molecules oscillating, and each of them maybe have a slightly different frequency or whatever. And then 
if one uh, speaks on what is going on with the position for each of them, one will tell it is uh, like if there is a here is one degree of freedom, but phase space is just two axes. And same if there is an n degree of freedom, there will be two n dimensionality of phase space. And then there will be some theorems and some logical things. So we have just slowly prepared. It's not replacing the next course, but making you ready. And uh, in the matrix form, if you have initial value of position and momentum, this red circle, which can be anywhere, then converting initial uh, values of the of this expectation values can be converted into final, same as we always speak about pre predicting future through transformation matrix. So if this one is maximum and this is zero, then we will uh, have row by column cosine of x naught for the x and then uh, sine no, uh, row by column minus omega sine omega t for for x naught, right? And then if you reproduce this diagram, but this equation will work uh, general for, for any position or for any initial phase wherever we start. Any questions, objections? So now you can win back and they will basically provide uh, arguments for this for this uh, statement. I agree with this. It's it's sandwich. Um, this is what we what we already knew. Do not think we, we need so the logic in the previous uh, years um, was that one needs to reproduce the homework, the com uh, commutation of Hamiltonian and the intuition of reader uh, is getting commutation of reader back. And it is a little reminder how to work with uh, uh, operators in the discrete basis. So since you have successfully completed homework, I think we are yes, just skipping skipping through. And here is the uh, thing that we will work on. So I did declare the goal and I did declare the final answer. What is missing? Metal. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. But middle, like uh, there is a bone and bones and meat. Uh, we, we can put the middle if you have the plan. And uh, by now, I didn't declare plan myself. I even didn't prove that I do have it. And uh, I didn't uh, ask you to develop a plan, but we, we may want to discuss it. And it is uh, maybe a little more interesting and useful rather than going through math because it will use this plan anyway. So how can we, if the goal is to find expectation values as they progress through the time, what are the options? Time dependent Schrodinger equation. Exactly. It's uh, option one, we find wave function. At the initial and final uh, and any intermediate step, and then compute expectation value by practicing sandwich rule, bra, cat, and operator inside. This is doable, even by pen and paper postulator, but it is a lot of pain. In MATLAB, it is just one quick, and it is what uh, would be a homework in the next year if I am assigned to teach this, this course. Um, but what is the other way to predict outcome for the expectation value of an observable? Exactly, exactly. So if we need expectation value of position, why don't we uh, set up equation of motion for expectation value of position? Let me just solve it. 
I mm, rarely it is uh, formed a closed form of equations like uh, position depending on position only. Sometimes it couples to other observables like position to momentum or maybe something else. But um, here I am offering shortcut squared, shortcut of shortcut. So Heisenberg is shortcut of, of uh, Schrodinger, right? Instead of looking on the wave function, we look on the on the, on the expectation value and uh, operator equation for the relevant operator. And our goal is to find position and moment. Just uh, I can show and prove, or you can just trust me that it is doable. But there is a way to do it twice or three times uh, quicker. So if instead of immediately practicing a Heisinger equation of motion, position, and momentum, we use decomposition of position over creation and inhibition operators, which we know, or we know how to pull it from one of the pages in the notes. Then find how the expectation value of creation and equation operator uh, develop in time, and then go through this chain back. It will be the quickest possible way. And the reason for this is that uh, Heisenberg equation of motion for an equation operator is probably the simplest implementation of the concept of uh, Heisenberg equation of motion in the world. So we, we need to use this benefit. So the plan is uh, as follows. We use, uh, we, we take commutation of inhibition with Hamiltonian. We find uh, Heisenberg equation of motion for inhibition operator. And then we practice definition, how to compose position out of creation and inhibition. And then we get the answer that is, was already declared. Make sense? Yeah. So, Heisenberg equation of motion, a high equation, right? Uh, commutation. Hamiltonian is A, 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 B. And one half is there, but uh, this commutation uh, practices the constants disappear. So, here is one of the answers from the homework. So, H, A minus h bar omega a. Uh, if uh, uh, this dagger, the sign swaps. So, and then we uh, are going to, um, like there is a definition of creation and iteration via position and momentum, and there is a, a reverse formula. Position and momentum is function of uh, creation and iteration. Um, so I left the empty spot because it is really fun to derive this equation because they are really uh, easy to solve. So time derivative of expectation value of A is expectation value of a uh, imitator of H and A. Okay. So we know from your homework that, that it will be a is h bar omega, h bar cancels, and then it will be minus i omega a. Right? And here is the time to solve different, a differential equation. It's one of the simplest ones, but uh, there is a mind throwing uh, feature that uh, if you if you do it again and again or if you deliver it as a lecture you stop being surprised but now it is a time for, for you to to be surprised typically we write down uh, differential equations for functions right and here 
is the differential equation for the operator. I still cannot look at it. It's uh, when I look at it, I, I, I feel discomfort because it, it's different from what was what was taught in the like uh, differential equation class when it was at, at the grade. But formally, no one forbids us to take derivative of an operator and think uh, like separate variable, uh, divide both parts on, on A, multiply both parts on DT and integrate, right? So you integrate that, uh, that uh, logarithm of all operator equals minus I omega times. And if you put the uh, left and right powers, uh, left and right sides into the power of exponential, you'll get that, um, Time dependence of the operator will be initial value times accumulating of the phase e to the power minus i omega. So this omega is frequency of oscillator. So if you accumulate phase with the same base, what is the fundamental frequency of oscillator? And uh, where this constant comes from? Well, you can get another. Step. Any questions? So, initial value, exponential accumulation phase. Right? Um, do we need to solve the same equation for the Creation operator. Why? Because it's just negative. Yeah, uh, more rigorously con uh, complex conjugation. So if we put dagger here, dagger here, we just swap the sign here. Right? So If we put brackets here, then instead of operator, it will be expectation value. Okay. And uh, expectation value of intuition operator is related to eigenstate of uh, intuition value. Basically, it is the stuff that we already discussed here. And this state that uh, I was wrong uh, introduced as uh, and de declared as eigenstate of inflation operator, it has its own name coherent state. Uh, what is coherence? Do you have any uh, verbal definition? Like understanding uh, and accepting? Okay, so something is consistent, right? Um, what is consistent here? The expansion coefficients in front of each uh, eigenstate accumulate phase in a consistent way. And as a result, as, as making superposition, it will be like consistent motion of this wave pack. So uh, if we would live uh, in 1960 and try to derive this simple equation before its uh, original deriver. We could call it consistent state instead of coherent state, but today it is what, what is accepted in the, in the uh, community. So just in case if uh, I do not know how to swap sine and product exponential. Then I need to re, uh, redo this uh, phase recognition of motion operation. And by practicing the same stuff, I'll get that it uh, accumulates phase in the opposite way. Okay. And um, let's start from the Observable from the position. 
So if one adds together definition of manipulation and uh, creation of the the momentum comes with different sign and it cancels. And then one is getting two expectation of value of x. And then uh, there is a there is a factor. If one inverses this factor, then we will have x as function of a and a negative. So from constant mass frequency, and here we have initial value of uh, creation operator, initial value of manipulation operator, and phase accumulation. So if we and uh, I promise you that it is the shortest shortcut. Yes. So would this be x of zero because you plug zero into the t before uh, e to the i to the t. So would x of zero just equal square root of t? If, if one uh, the question is, is it x of t or, or x of zero? Yeah. It is x of t. Okay. And that's just a of zero, that's the constant. But let me make it more. So that's just a constant in front. So, so this, this is a dagger of t. This is a without dagger of t. Okay. So we connect position at time t and uh, expectation values of a and a dagger in t. But then we plug in the time dependence for the stuff, and then we get the, the answer. Okay. The unknown thing is uh, what is a dagger and a of t, or of, of t equals zero. And we can uh, solve for it if you, if you know uh, x of x okay. uh, at the initial point of time. Whew. So um, there is a way to solve uh, for a and a dagger at time zero, and it will be dependent on the uh, x naught. I'm just uh, skipping this step, although it will be fun to, fun to do. And uh, if after after doing it, one is uh, getting uh, two instances of Euler function, once for opposite exponentials, opposite the uh, evolving exponentials are added together, and once when uh, they are subtracted. And through this uh, through this uh, step, we will get cosine and sine. So. The only important thing that uh, position will oscillate with frequency omega, but where it will be sine or cosine is uh, not relevant question. It depends on the initial phase. If, uh, for example, if you start with uh, oscillator being exactly at equilibrium, but we keep it, give it uh, initial uh, momentum without this initial position being zero at equilibrium, then it will be completely sine. And uh, if one carefully does these uh, equations, I'm just lazy to show it and or to rewrite it here, then uh, the second part, the sign will depend on the, on the initial, initial moment. And if one uh, does it uh, over again for the uh, momentum, then these two things flip, you won't get the final. Final I think we are uh, done. That's number six.